Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the process for returning a signed marriage certificate in Pierce County? After your marriage ceremony, the process of returning the signed marriage certificate in Pierce County is straightforward and involves several key steps. Signing the certificate. Immediately following the ceremony, the couple, the officiant, and two witnesses must sign the marriage certificate. This step is crucial as it validates the marriage. Returning the certificate. The officiant who performed your ceremony is responsible for returning the signed marriage certificate to the Pierce County Auditor's Office. This must be done within a specific time frame to ensure the marriage is officially recorded. Submission Methods The completed marriage certificate can be returned by mail or in person. If mailing, send it to the Pierce County Auditor's Office at the designated address. If you prefer to submit it in person, you can do so at the Auditor's Office. Address and Contact Mail the certificate to Pierce County Auditor's Office Marriage Certificate typically provided on the county website or the application packet. Verification and recording. Once the auditor's office receives the certificate, they will verify and record the marriage. This process ensures that the marriage is officially documented. Obtaining certified copies. After the certificate is recorded, you can request certified copies of your marriage certificate. These copies are essential for proving your marriage and can be used for various legal and administrative purposes. Certified copies cost $3 each and can be ordered online or by mail. Checking the status. You can check online to see if your certificate has been processed and recorded by searching the marriage index on the Pierce County website. If the status shows as null returned, null, then your certificate has been received and processed. Additional steps. If you plan to change your name after marriage, you will need to work with each relevant agency, such as the Social Security Office and your local driver's license office, to update your records. A certified copy of your marriage certificate is typically required for these name changes. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.